What's up guys, VenomRB here, and today you join me in a game that a lot of you might have played back in like 2018, but pretty much nobody does now. Today we're going to be checking out Drive Shaft Verse, a game that's kind of been forgotten, but I want to check it out because this game when it came out was years ahead of its time, and games are really just starting to, ca to catch up to the graphics quality of it. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, in the lobby, you have this garage feature, which never came. Credits, join friends, testing branch, and then go freestyle, and that was loud. And then you load into freestyle. And here we are in drive shaft. So, as you can see, you have this GUI, yada yada yada, spawn your vehicle, vehicle health, which this game does have damage, has gas, racing, all that good stuff. So, looking around, you can tell that this game has pretty good graphics when you consider the fact that this game came out in 2018 and was last updated in 2018 so like this lighting is pretty much on the level of futures bright and this lighting was out in 2018 now here's your like phone spawn area so you have all of this stuff remove current vehicles spawn current vehicles so i have four cars i wasn't super big into this game back when it was out my car broke when it spawned very cool so here is the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. This was just the beta driving car. And when you start it up, you can obviously hear that it has like the getting into it sound. And then this game does have car sounds, which aren't fantastic, but it does still have sounds, which back in 2018 really did not exist. Now, looking around the map, the roads are pretty basic. There's really not much to them. Like, look at the trees, the lighting, the river, the map quality all in all was just really good. And then, it's like, it's still good now. It's like, pretty much average. But when you consider the fact that this came out in 2018, and I can't stop saying this enough, and was updated two years ago, this was one of the best looking driving games on Roblox. Now, you do have your interior. The wheel doesn't move or anything on some cars. It does move on some cars, but not on this one. And the models are really, really good. Now, what's cool about this game is, so here's my Ford GT, uh, you know, GT40 Golf livery wannabe car. And essentially, when you go into the garage to customize it, there's this, like, cool intro GUI thingy that, you know, takes you into it. But then you have engine upgrades. This game had engine upgrades back when upgrades weren't really a thing you had ride height options so you could change that primary body color very simple this thing moved with it which is super super cool so you could change your body color is all you wanted this game had decals so you have all of these decals you can add flags that oof heads numbers you had gloss rim color this is interesting is you had repair vehicles so you could da damage your vehicles and then if you broke them enough they wouldn't move you come in here you repair them you have spoiler colors you have spoiler options so yeah you have four spoilers and you can sell your vehicle window color window gloss and wheel offset which basically you know just makes your wheels stick out and stuff all in all for being in 2018, this game had an insane amount of customization. Now, the chassis on this game is actually pretty decent. The cars don't handle extremely well, and the handling is pretty nice. You hit some grass, you're going to spin out and go into a tree, but then it still handles pretty well, and as you can see, this car does have a turning steering wheel. But the chassis feels pretty good, and then obviously the level of detail, as I've mentioned on the models, is quite good as well. With the lights looking realistic and actually aiming out a bit, and the reflectance, and all of that. Now filling up your car is actually pretty interesting, you just drive it by the pump, oops, that's fine. Hop out, that happens apparently, you click that. And then it's refueling your tank. You just have to park your car next to it. And you can't move. It's kind of just interesting as like a side thing to do. Where you have to get out of your car. Unlike most games where you just pull up by the pump. And then just hit E to start filling your fuel or something along those lines. Now for cars this game has no shortage. You have Pagani, Zonda, Ferrari. You have just 
a fair amount of cars and these this is just a super car dealership there's also the cheaper car dealership with you know cheaper cars and then there's monster trucks in this game and all sorts of cool stuff they actually have like the weirdest monster trucks ever and stuff it's just cool how many cars there are in this game for it only being developed for a short amount of time this had a lot of cars so you're probably wondering why this game no longer receives any updates and also ignore my tires i did that for some dumb reason so the reason for that is pretty simple and actually pretty unfortunate at the same time so the owner of this game nubix he apparently from what i believe and have heard he transferred robux from one account to another a large amount which apparently is against the terms of service and also and that got him banned there's also a few other things going on about him but that's why i've seen most people say so that's what i'm just gonna say is what banned him so this game unfortunately did not receive any updates the group has also been locked the discord server for this game has been deleted basically this game is never receiving any updates and there's it, it's just never getting updated again which is quite a shame because like Think of how this game was in 2018, right? Think if they had just kept this quality up and just kept making it better and better. Right now, if this game had kept receiving updates, we could have one of the best driving games on Roblox because the graphic quality back in 2018 was insanely good. Think if, if they just kept improving that. It, it would look super realistic at this point. So anyways, that's my video on Driveshaft verse i will leave a link to the game in the description if you'd like to check it out i'd recommend you do it's just like something fun to check out because it's pretty fun to just play there's another dealership by the way as you can see so yeah that's it you're probably wondering why i made a video on this game and i'm not really sure to be honest i just feel like it's one of the more forgotten driving games on roblox and i thought i would just you know bring it back to light a bit you know because it, it really was a great game for its time and yeah, it's it's disappointing that it got abandoned. Not by choice, but you know what I mean. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Venom out.